now let's discuss about the another advantage of using a negative feedback in an amplifier that is the decrease in the output impedance this is the last advantage which we will discuss in the case of a uh, advantages of a negative feedback amplifier we know that uh, there is a large output impedance in an amplifier circuit that i'm um, uh, Output impedance has to be decreased for the better impedance matching because in order to connect it to a load of low resistance the output impedance has to be decreased to have the impedance matching so this can be achieved by using a negative feedback in an amplifier to discuss how the feedback circuit introduces the low or decrease in the output impedance of an amplifier let's consider a circuit here again which again consisting of an amplifier unit and a feedback circuit here i'm assumed that uh, there is no signal source the signal is shorted only the input appearing to the amplifier is the feedback voltage so uh, we are we are considering the amplifier unit consisting of an input impedance z in and an amplifying unit which gives a voltage of a into v in that is the voltage given by the amplifier unit is equal to the input voltage times the gain voltage gain i am using it is a v into v in and also there is uh, we are representing another resistance that is the impedance the output impedance of the circuit as z out so this is the overall uh, distribution of uh, the amplifier unit here which contains an amplifying unit and a input impedance and an output impedance and uh, the feedback circuit feedback a fraction mv of the voltage appearing in its input terminal to the input of the circuit that means the voltage appearing on the input of this feedback circuit is the output voltage let's say v0 appear here is fed back to a fraction of this voltage is fed back to the input that is again we call it as vf is equal to mv into v0 so here it is minus and here it is plus so the actual voltage given to the amplifier circuit is here it is minus vf now to discuss the output impedance let's consider here we are connected a voltage source of uh, voltage v0 in the output terminal and the circuit draws a current of i out to the amplifier circuit here just for the sake of convenience we are considering so actually we are getting an output voltage v0 instead of it we are assuming that we are connecting a voltage source v0 to the output terminal it gives a current of i out to the amplifier then from this loop if we consider the kirchhoff's voltage law to this loop the output loop we can easily write v0 is equal to i out into z out plus a v into v in now this v in is nothing but minus v f which is equal to minus mv into v0 so the v out can be written as this equation first equation can be written as 
i out into z out minus mv av into v0 if we take this term to the lhs it will be v0 into 1 plus mv av is equal to i out into z out implies if we take v0 by i0 or i out which is equal to z out divided by 1 plus mv into av. So, now if we consider the v out by i out that is actually the if we consider this entire thing then v 0 by i out will be the impedance of the entire circuit that is the output impedance we can call it as the impedance of the entire circuit seen by this voltage source that is the entire circuit is the amplifier with feedback. So, V0 by I out represents the impedance of the circuit with a feedback. So, this can be written as the LHS of this equation is Z out F that is the impedance of the Amplifier circuit with feedback which is equal to Z out divided by 1 plus MV into AV. So, from here we can say that uh, the output impedance of the amplifier with feedback has been decreased by a factor of 1 plus MV AV. Here this Z out F is the output impedance of the circuit or impedance of the amplifier with feedback and uh, Z out is the output impedance of the amplifier without feedback. So, from here we can say that the output impedance of the amplifier with feedback is decreased by decreased by an amount 1 plus MVAV. So, this is the way the we can justify how the output impedance of an amplifier is decreased when we are using a negative feedback amplifier. So, that is all about the advantages of uh, using negative feedback in an amplifier circuit. Thank you.